The film you're going to see tonight has um, a very special place in British cinema because it is the last major film role undertaken by Edward Woodward. Um, Edward Woodward is such a, an amazing superstar of television from Callan to The Equalizer to EastEnders, etc. But on film, he maybe never got the big, big chances that he really deserved. Um, obviously up here, we love him for Wicker Man and obviously for Breaking Morant, but this is probably one of the best film roles he ever had. So um, it's a sad end that, to a career, but it's also um, kind of bittersweet in that it's such a great role for him. Um, we're very pleased uh, that this screening um, is being introduced by the film's director, who will also be back at the end for um, a Q&A um, to talk about the project and working with Edward Woodward. So please welcome the film's director, Mark Collicott. for coming. Uh, I'm really pleased that we're showing this film with Edward here, obviously up in uh, Scotland because of The Wicker Man. Uh, he told me so many stories about Scotland and how, uh, how much he enjoyed it. The film is set in Cornwall and Cornish and obviously there's an affinity with Cornwall. The film resonates as well slightly with The Wicker Man in the sense that it's about a guy who goes to a, a community, becomes ostracised and like 90% of what you see is true and uh, Edward was quite ill when we shot it but I think this film he, he's really really fantastic I think you'll be, you'll be bowled over by how what a brilliant actor he, he was not he is, sadly he was so I uh, hope you enjoy it we're going to have a little, with Alan said, a little Q&A so you can ask me any questions you like about the film or about Edward and, and hope you enjoy it thank you a Congregation of Ghosts is the debut feature from director Mark Collicott. Inspired by true events, the film stars the late Edward Woodward in his final role, playing the Reverend Densham. In 1932, Densham returns from missionary work in India to a village in Cornwall. Eccentric and fiercely pious, he is soon ostracised by the parishioners and resorts to using cardboard cutouts to fill the empty church for his sermons. In 1967, new owners arrive at the rectory to find that Densham's presence is still palpable in the area. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Mark Kolokoff. Um, obviously, if you have any questions you want to ask, any comments you want to make, because you are one of the first audiences that have got the chance to see the film in the cinema, so I'm, I'm sure you'd appreciate feedback. Of course. Of yeah, any kind. No, of exactly, time. yeah. I mean, um, we're going to chat a bit first. So, so how did you first come in? contact with the story of the, the reverend and <coughs> well as I said earlier I, ca I come from, I come from Cornwall and uh, it's a story I've known for ages and I've always wanted to do it and uh, and, I, and I wrote the script and when I wrote it the only person I could imagine doing it was Edward because it's it's such a sort of uh, strong sort of character role and I, uh, I eventually got a hold of him and Edward read the script he he said that he thought it was fantastic and he'd love to do it so, uh, you know, obviously t it takes a period of time and we got together. He's got a house in Padstow, which is about 20 miles from, because we actually shot it in the actual wall legging church, oh. is the church where it actually that took place. Yeah. And the two girls at the beginning, uh, when they see, they see this sort of strange girl with a, with a stovepipe hat, that actually happened. Two young girls actually saw, and you, and you think when girls say these things, you know, it, it's, it's sort of a naivety, isn't it? And they actually did believe they saw something. So I thought the story was so great, Edward got involved, and it went from then, and it was just, uh, I mean, I think you agree, he's just great, and it's just a really, you know, it's so sad what happened to him, but I, I think it's a really good sort of lasting legacy as his last film, that he, that he was so great. Just before Edward died, I was watching uh, Football Focus, and the phone went, and uh, I thought, who the fuck, you know, who's that? So I picked the phone up, and it's this little voice at the end, and it was, hi Mark, you know, it's Edward here, he's, he's phoning from, from the hospital, and he said, uh, he said, uh, I've, I've seen, I sent him like a little DVD, he said, I've seen a DVD, I think it's fantastic, he said, it's one of the best things I think I've ever done. So, uh, and then he, he, he passed away a few weeks later. So, you know, to, to get that from such a great actor, I was, you know, I think it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. Well, thank you. Please join me in thanking Mark Holdcock. Thank you. Thank you very much.